promising myself for weeks I'd get these seedlings potted up. And today, I've finally got a chance to do it. Right, so we're going to take the cabbage and the turnip. Gosh, they're desperately being potted up. <laughs> this is just going to be a temporary potting up until they go into the field. Just going to put that through my compost because this is second hand compost from the pumpkin and the courgette tub. I think that's me done. Managed to split apart the two seedlings and get them all potted individually. It wasn't my intention to just pot them up. I was hoping to put them out outside, but I think I'll need to double check that I can do that. If not, I'll just fill up buckets and get them all planted and keep them in the greenhouse. But my intention is to leave them here on the table out with the cosy grow house for a week at least and then maybe put them outside during the day bring them in at the evening i don't know i'm probably being overly cautious i just second guessing myself as to whether they can go out at all i don't know if they do i'll probably put some fleece over them with some builder's mesh on top i don't know i've probably mucked it up again <laughs> it wouldn't be like me <laughs> got another little project I want to do today <laughs> and it could be a huge mistake but I've taken some cuttings from the wild bramble bushes along the road you're probably going oh no don't do it they're so invasive they're so jaggy and yes they will be invasive but I'll keep them clipped back if it doesn't work out I'll just take them out I'll just remove them I've never actually ever done cuttings of a plant or if I have it's never been successful I've been no good at it so I'm going to have a go today I got some root powder from Amazon a wee while ago it was about seven or eight pounds can't remember exactly I'm going to try and take cuttings of this wild bramble we'll see what happens um, I've watched one YouTube about how to take cuttings from a bramble and clearly now I'm an expert on it so <laughs> My secateurs might look dirty, but I have sterilised them. Now, it said you want to have at least four. I'll do what I think feels best and we'll see how it goes. I'll take all the leaves off. about there I think right so that's my first cutting you can see there's just a tiny wee bit just above every leaf so that means that's the right way up this is the right way up how much how little got no idea in you go Now 
That was easy. <laughs> we'll see how we get on with that. This one. So we will chop it there. That one. And we'll chop it there. So here's the bit I'm going to use as my cutting. I'm going to take off all the leaves. You can see that we bit of growth just above where I've cut the leaf off. I think this might be too big for a cutting, so I will just take it down to there. Stick it in the powder. stuff right then could be the wrong thing to do to not water them just now but I don't want to wash away the root powder so I'll leave them for a couple of days let the root powder do its thing and then I'll add some water to the tray and they can soak up what they want and then hopefully next year I'll be able to plant out some brambles that'd be exciting and then six months later I totally regret it <laughs>have a question for you lovely vegetable experts and it's a question about my onion I'll just bring it in from outside beautiful onion I've grown them from seed and I can't remember the date July I think anyway I, I really am just waiting any day now is going to fall over so I'll know I can harvest them but my question is, and I've googled it and I couldn't seem to get an answer other than the onion was bolting, but I don't think that's what's happening right now. Can some clever, clever, clever person tell me why my onion has got two separate stalks? <laughs> why has this happened? Is it normal? Maybe it's meant to be like that. Maybe that happens all the time, but it doesn't look like the typical onion I've seen with just one center stock so i would really appreciate if somebody could just pop a comment below and say to me that's normal that's not normal <laughs> and let me know what's what it is i'm all the way down here <laughs> hello so this is our garden and I need to do some winter maintenance jobs in here. I want to take down some of the branches, the longest ones, because in the summer, when it's raining and they're in full leaf, full bloom, they actually come right down the grass. So I'm going to chop some of them back. The hawthorn that's here should never be this tall. They should all be hedges. So I have taken, it's taken a couple of years to get everything chopped down to hedge height. But I will take down more of the worst of it and I've got a, an electric chainsaw. 
I'll take down the smaller logs, but if there's anything bigger, I'll wait on Mr. Kelpie being here in case I uh, injure myself, which is the high likelihood of. I also need to get in the garden and scrape up all these wonderful leaves. What are you doing? Scrape up all the leaves and get them on the compost site. And finally, of course, thank you very much to the trees. They have provided us with our kindling for next winter. <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining me again this week. The dark lights are coming in so fast. There's just so little time during the day to try and get everything done. So thinking, it's already happened actually, I'm having to extend my videos to every two to three weeks. Just because with work I haven't got enough time during the day like I had before. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope to see you all next week. Thanks very much. Bye.